Hi, today I'm super excited to talk about why performance matters and how you can achieve all of this success of building apps with low code, especially a product like AppSmith. First, over the last few months and few quarters, we're seeing that the software industry is seeing a flight towards quality. IT budgets are facing continuous scrutiny because most companies want to reduce the licenses and consolidate their vendors. In fact, 74% of IT leaders have mentioned exclusively that they are looking to reduce their spend that on uh, software over the coming year. In addition to this, companies are seeing a diminishing return in value for each incremental SaaS product that they purchase. This is because there is an inability for companies and these teams to implement the solutions that they want to leverage in production. The bugs that exist within the SaaS software itself or an overarching poor product experience. Most successful disruptors uh, within the SaaS world today are focusing a lot more on quality, the user experience and performance. Uh, some examples of these products are Linear, Notion uh, and Miro. In fact, uh, here a quote by the Linear CEO, Carrie, says that professional software should be professional grade and that's more true today than it has ever been. While there is a lot of focus on quality, we are also seeing a lot of companies starting to build software in-house. And while they're, these companies are looking to spend lesser on the internal software that they are building, the demand for this software is actually increasing. It's not slowing down. On average, there are 30 plus custom applications that will be built by teams and companies this year. And a lot of this development will happen on low code platforms. The more tooling that is developed in-house in the form of either a custom application, an extension to the SaaS tool uh, will be retained by these uh, companies within their processes for a long period of time. So what does quality look like in the low code space? Fundamentally, users simply would not use products that are buggy, slow, or difficult to implement. This is because it increases the frustration within their own product teams. And in fact, it slows these companies down instead of accelerating them. For all low code tools and all these uh, custom applications that are being built on low code platforms like AppSmith. These tools need to be fast, not just for the developers, but for the end users as well. For developers, the speed does not originate from just the speed of building uh, the application. It's in the form of uh, speed across the entire software lifecycle from just the implementation and setup of the low code platform through the app building, long-term maintenance, and deployment of these applications. So it's the entire gamut over which these developers need to be fast on. For end users, on the other hand, most of our end users today are experiencing really good SaaS products and fast performance products in other parts of their life. And they shouldn't have to deal with slower tools slower products and slower sites just because they were developed on a low code platform. They are also demanding more, which is why apps that are built even on low code platforms should load, process and update data consistently and fast regardless of everything else. In any commercial software, security is paramount. And it is a very important dimension of quality for these low code platforms. 
comprehensive security means that you know when you are building with a low code platform you are outsourcing some of the aspects of data security authentication access controls to a third party platform and if these applications cannot protect either the users on the app, on using the application or the data that is being processed through these low code platforms a low code platform will do more harm than good which is why it is integral for comprehensive security for low code applications and for each of these platforms to take security as a very critical quality metric companies using low code platforms today solve a consistent recurrent need across a very wide gamut of industries companies and use cases for example today uh, gsk uh, a large pharmaceutical company is using appsmith to build ui and build governance guardrails using it automations on the other hand omron is building admin panels and dashboards on top of their internal databases to allow business users to access and modify that data easily and quickly twilio a large telephony provider is building admin panels again on top of to create a single customer view across multiple data sources within their own uh, environment and lastly we also have uh, f22 which is in fact extending their existing saas products and platforms using appsmith in order to reduce the license costs that they are spending on saas software our goal at appsmith is to build the highest quality platform to serve each of these needs be it extending an existing saas product that is in use or to build admin panels and dashboards for each of these internal databases in order to do this we are investing a lot in performance over the past year applications built on appsmith are 2x faster to load this is been done through a lot of optimized thread communication between the main thread within the browser and multiple worker threads that are used to process data this thread optimization has led to lesser data transfer between these uh, two threads and led to a much faster interaction time in addition to this we've also increased the parallelization over which this a uh, communication happens and the number of threads that are processing this data and lastly we have reduced the query execution time through a lot of micro optimizations on the server which actually make running any db query using appsmith much much faster not just so we've not just invested in building in improving the performance of the framework we've also invested in making appsmith apps faster to build uh, this has been done through improved tabs and navigation between the ui and the data or query you can now view your queries that you are executing whether it's an api or a db query and the ui which is rendering this data side by side this improved context switching has helped increase the speed at which you can build applications now we also have introduced this a new concept called building blocks which create templates for very common layouts and makes data binding with ui and your postgres db or your saas api much faster and easier to do all you got to do now is drag and drop a building block and you have a predefined template of a ui element a db query maybe some js business logic all at the behest of one single drag and drop and this has sped up again the speed at which developers are able to build their applications on appsmith lastly uh, deploying appsmith on your own infrastructure in your own private clouds be it aws gcp or uh, azure is now much faster and easier today appsmith offers managed hosting options 
for larger enterprises. This way, we can deploy and manage AppSmith within your infrastructure, within your uh, network firewalls, without you having to take the overhead of, of managing, maintaining, updating the AppSmith platform itself. In addition to this, we have also implemented some security measures for rate limiting uh, to prevent and protect against DDoS uh, elements that exist within the wild, and also made it much simpler to aggregate the logs that fro from AppSmith platforms that are deployed in a distributed setup. This has enabled AppSmith users to deploy and manage their AppSmith clusters much more easily. Lastly, AppSmith follows a principle, a very core principle called secure by design. In each of these cases, AppSmith, we take great care to ensure that the default defaults that we've chosen within the platform are secure by at the first go. This includes a couple of new features that we've added to our data sources, which allows you to now upload and use custom SSL certificates for your databases, especially for Postgres, for MySQL, uh, et cetera. This makes your communication between the AppSmith cluster and your internal databases a lot more secure. AppSmith is a SOC 2 compliant system, so we comply with all of the security principles that have been laid out by SOC 2. In addition to this, we also provide air gap deployments for all of the fintechs, health techs, and regulated industries out there that require zero internet connections. AppSmith has that solved for you. Lastly, we have role-based access control and audit logs for you to control the access to different uh, queries, different UI pages, and different elements on the dashboard that you built for your business users. I invite you all to upgrade to the latest version of AppSmith to experience some of these improvements that we've made across the board for performance, for speed of building, and for security. So let's start building.